Welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in today's video, we are not going to do any kind of Android project. So in this video, we are going to learn Git and their most common used Git commands. So I am working in Zomato from past two years. So I am going to tell you the most eight commands which I, I use daily in Zomato. And in this video, I am going to cover the entire command so you can clear any interview. And after joining any company or startup, you can you if you know these commands, then you can easily work using Git. Second thing and the most important thing, we are going to learn these commands by using real world example or real world projects. And then I am also going to tell you how to use these commands in terminal. I am not going to use any ID. So why I prefer terminal over the IDs? Because let us suppose Android Studio release an update or you are working on Visual Studio code. So if they release an update, then you have to again learn the new UI, how the add com work, how the commit work, how the branching works. So I always prefer terminal and I will also recommend you always use terminal for any basic Git operations. To resolve the conflicts, it is better to use the IDs, but for basic operation like add, commit, branching, push, pull, always try to prefer terminal so we are going to learn all these commands using terminal so trust me guys if you know the terminal how the terminal works using for git commands then you can easily work on any kind of project in any id it will not matter so this go video is going to be very important so watch the video till end so don't further delay now let's start the video if you don't like the video till now then please like the video if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel so now let's start the video so to explain the git commands i am going to freshly create a new project so I just coming here get up and just creating the new project tree just giving the name here test repo and uh, just making this repo private and create repository so why I created a fresh repo so whenever you will join the company you will you there will be always a project you have to just clone that project and then you have to start working on that so I am just taking that example, real world example. So let us suppose this is your company project. So the now the first basic command you should know if you want start want to start work on this project is you have to clone this. So for this, first of all, there is a one simple rule to if you want to clone any project in your in your system or in your laptop or in your company laptop, always create a separate folder. So let us suppose my company name is XYZ and there are multiple projects in that company so i am just creating one another folder inside there so you can add multiple repos of your company in that particular folder so i am just giving here name as project one sorry renaming it project one now inside that folder i am going to clone this so just i am opening the terminal so terminal and if you are using any id then you can use that id terminal so if you are using android studio then you can use android studio terminal if you are using vs code then you can use vs code but i have just a simple project it is not associated with any kind of project so that's why i am using prefer normal terminal but we will going to learn by using terminal so i am just going to here desktop now inside this if you type ls you can see the all commands so let me big it make it big now here you can see there is a company folder name xyz now ls you can see this is a project one folder i come inside this folder now i will clone the project here so git clone and inside this i will type this and now when you tap on this you can see it is showing to enter the username so i am just entering my username gmail.com now to i have to enter the password and which mean i can say the access token so let me add access token so just pasted my access token here and click on paste so it looks like my ex ex access token is expired so i have to create one more access token so just wait a minute so i successfully created a new access token so let me again clone the project so git clone and just typing here british commercial username and this is the token so you can see now our project cloned successfully so inside you can see inside project one there is a test repo and this is just contain the readme file so this is readme.md so now close this so whenever you work start work on any project in your company it will you will always going to work on a separate branch there will be a two branches in your company always like a master branch and a development branch so you have to always create your separate branch for your feature and then you have to merge your code in development branch and the code owner will 
review that code and merge your code in development branch and after that you have to raise the pr request or we can say pull request and second thing why there are two concept of branches in the companies like master branch is the code which is the stable code and in development where we are multiple developers are working and merging their code so that they can test the final build so you are you are always going to create a separate branch so let me open my github first so you can see this is in our case there is the main branch and this is main branch where we are going to push merge our all the code after raising the pull request it does not contain two branch concept because this is not a uh, multiple developers are working here only one developer working and this is just a demo video so that's why it contain only one branch which is main branch but we are going to merge our code inside the main branch by raising pull request so i open this company xyz folder so you can see inside our test repo so now you have to work on this so inside test repo what you want to let us suppose you just created a new file you work on any file let us suppose so i let me so let me create a text file text edit and uh, dummy file i'm just giving this name and this is just a document type so this is saved on my desktop now i am just moving this file inside my this test repo so when you come here you can see if i clear the previous commands git status you can see it is not showing any repository because we are inside the project 1 folder we have to go inside our test repo so you have to type cd test repo now you can see it is indicating here we are on main branch so now if you type here git status you can see there is a dummy file doc which is to be included into the commit so before adding into the commit you have to just type here git create your own branch so to create your own branch you what you have to type you have to type here git checkout minus b and just you can give any name so i am just giving here test branch so you can see now the new branch is created successfully so this is the first important command after the clone which you are going to use to create your own branch for your own feature now after that what you have to do you have to commit your changes so for this first of all you have to add your changes into commit so just type here git add and done dot so it will add your all changes into the commit now just commit these changes so git commit so dummy commit for video i am just giving this random but i'll just give a better commit message to track the history so you can see this is added now you have to just push this changes on your test branch so git push origin test branch so you can see now the changes created successfully and pushed on to our test branch so now the pull request is raised so when you copy this url and when you so you can see it is just creating this saying to create a pull request and when you when this pull request created so you can see one file changes dummy file doc is added here so this is document file now it is also showing the option merge pull request so what in companies what we do we have to review this code and we have to review their pr request or pull request and then if developer approve the pull request then we have to just merge this code into our main branch so when you type this so it will just merge this here so you can see our changes are merged into our main branch so now this main branch contain dummy file doc and this so you can see this is just one minute ago dummy commit for the video so these are the four basic command which we learned till yet so one is our clone one is our add one is our commit and one is our push and one is our branching now there are three more commands which are most common commands which we use daily in daily life one is branch renaming and one is we have to sync our code from master or main branch so let me tell you how we can do this so first of all now first of all let, i will tell you how you can sync your code with the main master because you are just merge your code into the main branch but let us suppose there is developer 2 developer 3 developer 4 also working and they just merge their code but it will not present here so let me give an example so let us suppose if i add a new file here so just i type here create new file and this is just a developer 2 file let us suppose developer 2 file and test file and i just commit this changes so i can directly commit to the main branch so let us suppose i commit this changes so basically let us suppose if two or three developers are working on the same project or same repository so now you don't have this developer do file in your system so whenever you have to start working on a new feature then or if you are working on existing feature it is always better to sync your code with development so so take the latest code so if i clear all the things first of all and if i move out from if i check out here git check out main so you can see i am in the main branch so if i come inside this here so you can see in test repo what we have we have just only readme so you can see you are not able to see my text edit file so why you are not able to text edit file because this code is merged into the main branch but is not sync with my local system 
so i have to sync at that as well and also the developer2 file is also not present in my this repo folder because this is just present on github not in my local system so we have to take the pull of latest main branch so how you can do this so you have to just type just check out into the main branch and just type here git pull so when you type here git pull it will take the all and are codes so now if i open this you can see this developer2 file is present here and this is just our dummy file doc and this is our existing readme so this is the importance of git pull also so you are you have to also learn this now let me tell you one more important command which i use daily day to daily life so let us suppose if i just created this git checkout minus b test branch 2 sorry test branch 2 so now if i open this xyz and i just modified this file so testing file and i just save this so when you type this git status here so you can see it is saying the developer2 file is modified so i am just typing here git add then git commit developer2 file modified and git push origin test branch 2 and now i have to again raise the peer, peer pull request here so i am just typing and creating the pull request now i just created the pull request and i can merge this pull request but there is one more thing let us suppose you you are working on very big feature and by the time there are another work is going on on the same repository so you have to take that pull of or we can say you have to take the code of main branch into your branch before working ahead with your new feature instead of merging previously what we did we just merge our code to our main branch and then we take the pull but now i don't want to merge my pull request into the main branch because i am currently working on that feature but what i have to do i have to just take the latest code so let me give an example so let us suppose i created this file so just i am giving the file name here developer three file test file and let us suppose another developer three works and they just merge the code into the main branch now now i want to add a particular feature but developer three already created that feature so i have to just take the code of the developer three or we can say the main branch into my branch so that i can work collaboratively so what we have to do so let us suppose if i just check out to main branch here then i just type here git pull so you can see in xyz the developer 3 file exists but let us suppose if i go to here git checkout test branch 2 you will see the developer 3 file is not exist because in my branch there is no sync with main branch code so what we have to do we have to sync that part so this is the most one of the most important command we also use so you just have to type here git merge main when you type here git merge main it will just merge your code in, in your your branch so our code is merged so let me again terminate this particular session and open this terminal again so i have to just move this cd desktop cd xyz ls cd project one cd test repo so I am on git main branch too. So whenever I merge the code of the main branch into my branch, so you can see there is new file come inside inside my branch, developer3 file. So I have to just add that file and make a commit. So git add git commit syncing code with dev. Now I have to just push this. So when you push this, you can see there is a one commit here syncing code with develop development, which just merge the main sync with master. So if you now open this XYZ, you can see this test branch 2 is also contained a developer 3 file. So now let's merge this and finish this video. So now our entire code is present inside our this test repo. And there is all 8 commit history. So if you see, there is a merge latest sync here. First of all, initial commit to create the project. Then I just created dummy commit. Then I just merged my first pull request. Then I created the developer file online and in your case it will can be a different developer then developer2 file modified and then just created this developer3 file then syncing the code and then at last finally merging the code test branch 2 into the main so i hope guys you learned something new in this video these are the all basic command which you are going to use in into your daily life so trust me guys this is cover the 80 percent of your git commands in your company or startup i use daily these commands and always prefer terminal to use this terminal is super easy but in this video i didn't explain how to resolve conflicts in later video i will also explain how to resolve conflicts because if you want to resolve conflict then it is better to use the ui 
because UI will explain what are the changes from one developer, what is the changes on second developer. So video can take little bit large. So that, that's why I didn't explain the conflict resolving here. So I hope guys you learned something new in this video. If you have any question, if you have any query, just comment down below. I will try to give the answer of every comment. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and please share the video. So thank you guys. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.